Hello again, welcome to Be Inspired with Henry T. I'm Henry T. And today, look out, I'm going to be extremely inspired because we have the inspirational leader of, of the entire state of New Mexico. Nobody inspires and motivates people like my buddy, Coach Jim Chicarello. Affectionately, we call him Chick. And he brings three of his close friends, three of his athletes with us today to instruct us, to show us you're going to perform an exhibition of jump rope. Coach Chick, what do you have for us today? We have a treat today. We have a jump rope presentation with three inspiring, who are inspired by Henry T. Show today to show the state of New Mexico how important jump rope is in their lives and how it can make anyone a better athlete, including Henry T. Whoa. Tell us some preface before we meet your athletes. And they look in shape, by the way. Tell us what this entails. Physical fitness is a big phrase across the world today. Are we on to something here regarding getting in shape with a jump rope? You know, Henry, uh, I've been teaching jump rope for about 30 years. And I've always said that jump rope is a building block to be a great athlete no matter what your sport. And I'm really shocked that NFL players and NBA players and some of your great collegiate teams aren't doing it as well as they should be. Uh, I think jump rope is a thing of the future. It's eventually going to be an Olympic sport. Wow. And it's good for fitness. It's good for balance. It's great for warm-up. The greatest warm-up there is of all time. Huh? Ten minutes and you're ready to go. We'd like to introduce... Denise, how are you, Denise? I'm great, thank you. It's great to have you with us. Let's start with you and then say hello to Warwick. How you doing, Warwick? Doing well, thanks. Great. And Alex, you're looking great. Thank you. <laughs> Let's start with Alex. Alex, why do you do this? What's the fun? What does it do for you? Um, it's really gotten me in shape. Um, it's gotten me to run faster. Um, when I'm tired, I really helps me and I, I jump up on my own time. It's really fun for me. I enjoy it. Too. The fun factor. How much fun is it? It's very fun. I, I, I really enjoy it. Do you do it without Coach Chick there just on your own at home? Yes. Yeah. Do you have mom doing it too? Um, I try to get my mom and my dad out to do it. Amen. Warwick, what's in it for you? You're a track star, former gymnast. Why do this? Honestly, um, like like Coach Chick said, it makes you a much better athlete. Incorporating it into your warm up is wonderful. Gets you ready to make explosive movements, and like she said, it's it's extremely fun. You're a triple jump champion at the University of New Mexico. How has jump rope aided your cause in that competition? Ah, uh, in the triple jump, you have to be extremely balanced and you have to have very good explosiveness off the ground, hopping from one leg onto the same leg. So just getting the jump rope in, it, uh, it, it aids you in coordination and standing in one solid line, as well as explosiveness, so it's extremely helpful. And Coach, you listen to what they've just said. Do you add more to add to the physical fitness capabilities of jump rope? and aiding their athleticism in their respective sports? I'm going to talk about speed. I don't think we really uh, emphasize enough that if you move a rope very fast, the connectors in your brain and the rest of your body are going to move fast too. And all of a sudden, your body is going to be fast for whatever event that is, whether it's a basketball uh, dunk or whether it's running down a runway. Anything in athletics that has speed incorporated, if you move the rope fast, your muscles will get faster. Wow. Denise, what has it done for you, literally, in life, in athletics, and how does it get closer to your dreams so they'll come true? It definitely makes me quicker on the track. You know, it's a total body workout. So not only is it working your body, but it's working your mind. Like You're training your mind to go quick. 
And as I coach always says, your body will do what you um, train it to do. So if you go fast, you're going to see yourself going fast on the track. Um, in life, it's just, it's a challenge. Like, it's so impressive when you can jump rope fast. So it, it's, it's awesome. Now, what event do you compete in on the track? I run in the 400, hurt, hopefully the 400 hurdles, and then the 400 meter open. And you can really measure how much jump rope does in excelling what you perform in an actual track and field competition. I've definitely seen how it's improved my running and how it's helped me because it trains you to go quick and it helps with balance and coordination and it kind of builds you up mentally. Like when you're tired and especially in my arms, I feel it when you're tired, but you have to keep going and kind of push yourself over that hump and that you just take that and jump roping and you take that with running and with life and just anything that you do. Who are you individually as a student out there with your friends at home? Who are you, Denise? <laughs> Hopefully someone who is going to achieve and go above and beyond in anything that I do. So. I bet you're a great student. I try to be the best I can be. Yes. Yeah. Why? Because why not? You know, we only have a short amount of time on the earth, so why not do anything to the best of your ability? Wow. You know? What a positive attitude. <laughs> Jumping to work. Man, at the college level, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. You have to get the job done or you're not out there on the track. You have great character, impeccable character. Your academics are strong. Tell me more. Well, you know, like you said, um, character counts. And building character in everything you do, it follows you throughout life, whether it be on, whether it be on the track, whether it's in the classroom, you know, you work hard on the track and it directly correlates. So if you want to be successful and compete at a high level, you have to carry yourself at a high level out, out and about or in the classroom or study habits, you name it. Are you always aware of your good character? You have a lot of friends, people like you. Is that important to you? Well, I mean, it, it is important to me, but I really don't focus on that as much. I just focus on being the best person I can be. And with that, good things come to you. I believe that you get what you put out and the energy you put into the world is the same energy you'll get back. Alex, you have a lot of friends. I is do. that important to you? Yes, but I also like to be active. Like I'm a soccer player and I also very, I really enjoy jump rope. Wow, when you see your future out there, what do you see? What do you dream about? Um, well, I, I really like athletics, like I said before and I want to stay active through my whole entire life. Amen. Do you have a favorite sport outside of jump rope? I like soccer. Wow. You have to be in shape to play soccer. You know, and, and I don't mean no harm or to discredit anybody up there. I've never seen too many pleasantly plump soccer players. They're always on the move. You gotta be fit. Am I right? Yes, you're correct. And tell me exactly how jump rope makes you a better soccer player. Well, it really gets your legs and your um, your legs and the muscles in your legs strong. And I realized it it's really gotten me to able to run a lot faster and gotten me to run, like I said, and just be a lot faster on the soccer field. Coach Ciccarello, he loves you guys. He works hard with you. What are your feelings about Coach Chick? Well, I've known him for my whole entire life. He He's taught me how to go faster at jump rope and exceed. What are your thoughts on Coach Chick? Man, Coach Chickarello is an amazing guy. Um, I actually met him through a good friend in high school. Um, he volunteered to help me out. He didn't even know who I was. You know, he, he helped me high jump. He helped me become a hurdler. He spent time with me on the track when he really didn't have to and he really didn't know who I was. And this was about when I was in the 10th grade. So just going throughout the years and getting to know him more and more has been real special just because, like I said, he didn't have to help me. And he took it out of his time and he wanted to help me. And that was real special because not too many people out there is, ambi is as ambitious as him and willing to do that for people. So. Can you really measure in your accomplishments how Coach Chick has helped you perform better? 
Absolutely. And it's not only physically, it's more internally and mentally seeing how somebody could actually reach out to help me and want to help me and want to see me succeed just as much as I want to succeed myself. That's real important. And it, 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 it goes far, far beyond just the physical capabilities and the physical aspect of it all. Denise, tell me your story about Coach Ciccarello. I'm kind of in the same boat as Warwick. You know, um, I, I went to him. I've always heard great things about him, and I wanted to train with him. And he didn't know me. He didn't have to work with me, but he chose on his own time to come meet me and see what I have and make the decision whether he wanted to work with me or not, and he did. And he, he sees things in me that I didn't even think that I saw in myself. You know, he makes me believe. He builds me up physically, mentally, um, and he pushes me. He pushes me even when I'm like tired and I don't want to kind of keep going. You know, I'm like, oh man, I need to stop. But he pushes me like, no, Denise, we have another hill. No, like we need to keep going. You know, we're going to push yourself because he knows, he sees my capability. Are you ready to perform for us? I am. We're going to put on an <laughs> exhibition here. She's ready. I know Warwick's ready. Alex, you're fired up. Coach, what are we going to watch here in the next 10 minutes? In the next 10 minutes, you're going to see three kids, three different ages, at three different levels. Alex, our little elementary kid over there, has got a little routine. She's going to show you some fancy tricks. Denise is going to show you some of the things that a beginning jump roper would aspire to do. And then what? I call him the Turbo Man. <laughs> Grab your socks. Here comes War Turbo Man. Yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, stay right there because what we're about to see has never been seen on television in our city, that's for sure. So this is unique. It's brand new. Sit back and watch this exhibition. And Coach Chick will narrate with a little bit of music in there as well. Watch this. Funding for today's programming has been provided in part by A&D Heating and Air Conditioning. Hi, my name is Aaron, and I am the owner of A&D Heating and Air Conditioning. I am an avid listener of Channel 32, and this is our brand, A&D Signature Series. A&D also provides repairs, new installations, evaporative to refrigerated conversions, and other services. A&D Heating and Air Conditioning, 505-489-9342. Thanks for supporting family programming. For today's programming has been brought to you in part by Marty Sice, a local State Farm Insurance agent. I am never getting married. Never. Guaranteed. You picked a beautiful ring. Thank you. <coughs> We're never having kids. Mm -mm. Ah! I love it here. We are never moving to the suburbs. We are never getting one of those. We're never having another kid. I'm pregnant. I'm never letting go. Marty Size, 345-3431. Thank you for supporting Family Programming. She's ready. I know Warwick's ready. Alex, you're fired up. Coach, what are we going to watch here? You're going to see three kids, three different ages, at three different levels. Alex, our little elementary kid over there, has got a little routine. She's going to show you some fancy tricks. Denise is going to show you some of the things that a beginning jump roper would aspire to do. And then what? I call him the Turbo Man. <laughs> Grab your socks. Here comes War Turbo Man.
Alex, would you show us your routine, starting with a side swing? This is an elementary, Bandelier Elementary student, showing you a routine jump rope. Check it out. Side swing. Kick up to a basic jump. And then, Alex, can you add some tricks in there to your jump rope routine? Nice. Crossing our ankles, double unders, wrist cross. That's called a mad dog to a awesome Annie. Double unders, crisscross, side cross. All of these tricks are named after kids that invented them. And Alex is doing a group of tricks to her own little routine. This is the crowd favorite. We call it the butt bumper. That rope goes down to our rear end, and we turn, and the crowd loves that. Crisscross with a pose. That's how she finished her routine. Thank you, Alex. That was very nice. Denise, would you show us, Denise is a university student, some beginning phases of jump rope that somebody could do if they want to be fit and have fun. Would you start with a side swing, please? Now, as Denise is moving the rope, I'm going to ask her to go a little faster. Can you move faster? Slow it down. And break. We teach kids how to break and hold the rope and stop it. Now, would you go into a side swing kick up? Coordination of the total body, arms, shoulders, feet, and legs. And then pick up your speed. Change of pace, slow it down. And break. Now, would you show us a basic jump rope? This is called basic, on your toes, light on your feet, use your hands. Now, I'm gonna ask Denise to do some tricks. Strap, open and close. Back to the basic. How about a scissor? Scissor those feet. Back to the basic. Her heart rate is really starting to go right now. But she just keeps going. We're going to push her. Now, can you do a skier? Go skiing. Basic. Can you do a bell? Forward and back. Back to your basic. X motion. Back to your basic. Now, can you do a jog step? The heart rate is pounding right now. Can you do high knees? Can you show us high knees fast? Back to the jog step. How about a crisscross? Crisscross, crisscross, crisscross. Basic. Can you do a double under? One or two. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Denise Alba, is your heart rate pounding? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how we get fitness with a jump rope. Okay, Warwick, would you go into a side swing? Give me a little bit of speed. Slow it down. Give me a little turbo. Slow it down. Give me a kick up with the side swing. How about a turbo? Slow it down. How about a basic jump? Can you feel the speed, ladies and gentlemen? Wark is going to move this rope for you today. Now, 
Four. Let's see your high knees. High knees back. Back to a basic. Jog step. The heart rate is really pounding right now, but we're going to take it up to the next level. Would you show us some speed? Lobo speed. Nice. Look back to his basics. Now Warwick is going to go ahead and do some double unders for you. And this is going to be very, very fast. This is going to work the speed muscles as fast as anything you could ever do. Ready? Hit it. And back to your basic. Now I'm going to ask Warwick to go double, double, double under and then do a couple of triples. That rope is going to move so fast, it's got to go under three times before he hits the ground. Warwick, would you please double, 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 triple? Nice. Did that get your heart rate going? Oh, wow. Wow. Now, we have something special for you called the Boxer. If anybody has ever watched Muhammad Ali, Roberto Duran, or any of our boxers from the last hundred years, they use this to warm up when they come out of the locker room. We do it for track and field and other athletic activities. I would like to see you do the boxer to left, to right, to left, to right, side, 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 side. Start slow, pick up your speed. Warren, the boxer. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, can you see the benefits of heart rate, fitness, and speed? Mark, that was pretty good. Want to finish it off with something special for us? Whatever you want. Got butt bumpers, shoe jump, shoe jump. Oh, do you believe that a, uh, an older guy can do butt bumpers? I bet Henry T could do this. Watch this, Mark with his butt bumper. He's already a college graduate, and he's still doing butt bumpers. Watch this, ladies and gentlemen. This takes coordination, strength, speed, everything it takes to be an athlete. Cowboy it up, and butt bump it down. Wow, nice. That's what a triple jumper does. Triple jumping's got a lot of speed and power. And the heart rate is gone. Nothing. You had a great presentation today from our three athletes, and we are so happy to be inspired by being on the Henry T. Show to present our jump rope to you, the state of New Mexico. Wow. Great entertainment. Rope jumping, jump rope. How elementary is that? We've all done it, but the older we get, the more we stay away from it because it is strenuous. You want to get in shape? Go jump rope today. I'm going to do it slowly but surely. I'll never do it to the way we just experienced, but I'm going to do it because it's going to help me get more physically fit. Thank you to Coach Jim Ciccarello and his great athletes for entertaining us today. Right here on KZQ Channel 32. We'll see you tomorrow morning. You got a story, don't forget to call me with it, 907-4523, or email originalgameface at gmail.com. It's been great talking with you today, right here on KZQ. Remember, we're on every morning right here, Be Inspired with Henry T., 8 o'clock on KZQ, Channel 32. Funding for today's programming has been brought to you in part by Malloy Dodge, Albuquerque's new and used Dodge and Ram truck dealer since 1955. I'm Nick Malloy from Malloy Dodge. For four generations, we've been serving thousands of New Mexicans from all across our fine state. Over 65 years of trust. Our family serving yours. Malloy Dodge, we're proud to stand behind our community.
Thank you for supporting Family Programming.